else I'm here with another um, video. Um, I wanted to share with you how I created this nail. Um, basically, what I did here was I um, built my whole nail with my almond um, acrylic, the one that I used for for the top of my nails, and it's named Almond. And um, that's basically it. I created the whole nail like that, um, and then. Um, my whole design is encapsulated for the most part, but um, I just wanted to share with you guys and hopefully you guys like it. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to grab um, a mixture that I did with white and black and a um, little bit of purple um, to give it that um, sort of like smoky effect like when you're doing your makeup because I wanted it to seem like it was an eye with makeup so um that's what I did and um the way that I did the smoking out part was um I did the I applied it in a diagonal uh, way and then I brushed it up um creating the effect that on one side was darker and then the other side it was lighter like the way that you would normally do your makeup on your eye. Then after that, um, I created the eye shape with white acrylic and, um, and I just basically did like a sort of like a leaf, um, like if I was going to do a leaf effect and um, that's basically how I created the eye. Then um, underneath as well, I wanted to smoke it out a little bit so I applied the same mix that I created down on the bottom and then um, I basically from there start creating the eyeball and for the eyeball I do start off with a um, small bead of black acrylic and um, it's pretty watered down because what I just want to create is create this shadow um, underneath um, of your eye and um, that's going to make the other colors pop. So I wasn't worrying too much about the center um, of the circle. I was more worried about the sides that it was completely black. Then I go in um, once more with my white acrylic and I grab even a smaller bead and apply it over the top. I make sure that um, I can see the black on both sides and I try to press it down as much as I can because I wanted to encapsulate this design. So I didn't want to go um, too high for it. Then um, I decided that I wanted to do a blue eye. So um, I did a mixture of white and blue to create that like sky blue. On top of that, I added another bead of white. And on top of that, I'm going to go ahead and add another um, small bead of black. Um, after that, um, what I do is I just go in and um, basically like make everything even. Um, give it a little bit of height so that the um, eye looks like it's um, like it matches. It doesn't, it doesn't look one part larger than the other. So I just go in and fill all that in. And um, it might seem like it's pretty big, pretty high up, but it really isn't. Um, because like I said, you want to make sure that you flatten everything. Um, after that, I go in and I encapsulate my, um, my design. And um, you would go ahead and file a shape and buff. And then I created some eyelashes, and the eyelashes I did um, created with a striper brush and acrylic black paint. I made sure that um, it was completely dry before I continue with my other process, or my other step. Um, I did want it um, to add something to the nail that it was going to make it pop. So I did add um, like a beauty mark. And you'll see it um, further down the video. Um, and another thing that I did that I forgot to tell you was that um, I added um, white acrylic, two little dots of white acrylic to the eye. So um, you would think that it would be like shiny 
or catching the light. So, um, hopefully you like this video, um, I wanted to share with you, and, and yeah, so, um, just wanted to say thank you for stopping by and uh, watching my video, and I will see you guys soon in another one, so talk to you later.